boys and girls of St. John's, welcome to Children's Chapel. I am so glad you are here to worship God today. We have some special guests today. We have Wood and Merritt and Alabama and April. We are so glad you guys are here today. Now, can you teach the kids at home or remind the kids at home of Jesus' greatest commandment? To love God with all of our hearts, all of our minds, all of our souls, and to love our neighbors as ourselves. Excellent. That's right. That's Jesus' most important commandment. All right. So today we are in the season after Pentecost. Look at our big church calendar, and you at home, point to where we are in the season. I mean, in the church calendar. All right, Wood, can you show the kids where we are in the church calendar? Right here. Right, exactly, where the green part of the pie is, where you see those feet. And the season after Pentecost is also called Ordinary Time. And we um, do the work of Jesus and the walking of Jesus. So that's why you see the feet. We grow as disciples. So, today's story comes from one of our Gospels. Kids at home, Wood, Alabama, Merritt, what are the four Gospels? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Correct. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And today's story comes from the Gospel of Matthew. Wood, can you go to our Bible bookshelf and pull out the Gospel of Matthew? Excellent, the Gospel of Matthew. And where is the Gospel of Matthew? In the New Testament. Right, excellent, in the New Testament. It's the first book in the New Testament. Now today's story from the Gospel of Matthew is a parable. That's probably a word you don't hear every day. Parable? Do you guys know what parable means? No. no? Okay, let me try to explain. So parables are simple stories about common things to explain deeper things about God's kingdom and the lives of believers. So how many parables do you think there are in the Gospel of Matthew? What? How many do you think there are? Seven. Okay, good guess. Mary? 35. 35. Alabama? 20. 20. Uh, April? 77. 77. Ooh, these are some good guesses. I will tell you the answer. I did not know this myself until today. There are 23 parables oh, in Matthew's Gospel. So there are quite a few parables that we can learn from that tell us about God's kingdom. And I remember the number 23 because my favorite song is the 23rd Psalm. So you can remember how many parables by remembering the 23rd Psalm. So in today's parable, he often, Jesus often used stories about farming. Because his people, the people that he was preaching to, his disciples, were people who worked the land. So he tells this story about seed being sown into the ground. And there are seeds that fall on different types of soil, four different types of soil. And the seed in this parable represents or means God's kingdom. And the soil represents um, the, the believers who listen, how people hear the story. And some hear the story one way and some hear the story another way. So merit... Will you read the first part of the parable? And then Alabama, will you read the second part of the parable? Yes. That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the sea. Such great crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat there while the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, Listen, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seeds fell on the path. And the bird came and ate them up. Other seeds fell on the rocky ground, where they did not have much soil, and they sprang up quickly, since they had no depth of, since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. 
Other seeds fell among the thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and brought forth grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Let anyone with ears listen. Hear the parable of the so, so, sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away. What is sown in the heart, this is what was sown on the path. As for what was sown on the rocky ground, this is one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet such a person has no root, but endures only for a while, and when trouble or persecution arises on the account of the word, the person immediately falls away. As for what was sown among thorns, this is the one who hears the word. But the care of the world and the lure of wealth choke the word, and it yields nothing. But as for what was sown on the good soil, this is the, this is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears the fruit and yields in one case a hundredfold, in another sixty, and in another thirty. Thank you, girl. Great reading. So those who live and understand and hear the good news of Jesus are like that good soil, and they go on to produce good fruit in their lives um, for the betterment of God's kingdom in the world. So for the offering this week, we are, as a church family at St. John's, we are putting together, together care packages for the uh, families at Family Promise. Do you know about Family Promise? Have you ever heard about Family Promise? Family Promise is a wonderful organization that helps um, homeless families. And they, they um, help them with uh, temporary housing and getting them back into permanent housing, too. So for the offering, um, the, the, the people of St. John's are putting together sweet little care packages with letters to um, the families at Family Promise, and they've asked for certain items that you can find, your adult can find in um, the weekly record if, they, if you want to put in um, your care package stuff like paper towels and masks and disinfectant um, wipes and um, food and non perishable food, stuff like that that can go in a, in a, a care package. All right, are you ready to sing one of our offer best, wonderfulest offering songs? Yes. <laughs> okay. Here we go. This is If I Were a Butterfly. You at home, do the animal motions. If I were a butterfly, thank you, Lord, for giving me wings. And if I were
together in prayer. So, let me pull up the prayer. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Dear God, like a gardener tends to the soil in her garden, we ask that you prepare our hearts to receive your word so that it grows within us and produces good fruit in our words and actions. Amen. Amen. All right, would you all be able to lead the children and families at home in the Lord's Prayer? Sure. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. All right. At home, we're going to learn a new dismissal. Kids, we're going to learn a new dismissal. So I'm going to say, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. And you at home, and you kids, in April, you're going to say, thanks, thanks be to God. God. Excellent. All right. So go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, thanks be to God. God. Thank you so much for joining us. Yay! Bye, Bye everybody. Have a good week.